Okay guys, I just want to go over my 2018 65 PRC by TS Customs, Travis Stevens out of South Dakota. Now, um, I've done a lot of work with this um, particular rifle this fall, so I just kind of want to get a lot of comments on some of the hunting videos. So I just kind of want to break it down. So um, your total weight here is 12.6 ounces as the current setup. That includes the bipod and the suppressor. Now, if you remove the bipod, you're at 11.5 ounces, okay? You take off the suppressor, which I'm not gonna do, you're gonna be at 10.6 ounces. Now, there's some things here that you could do to lighten it up. This is a 26 inch proof research carbon fiber, full, uh, full Sendero. That's gonna be three pounds, five ounces. Now, if you did a 24 inch barrel, you're obviously gonna cut some weight there. Um, now, this action is a short action, titanium, lone peak, Lone Peak Action out of Hyde Park, Utah. Um, that's gonna save you a half a pound over a steel action. So you have the Viper PST Gen 2. You're gonna be at 31.2 ounces there. Now, here's another thing I did that's gonna add weight. A detachable mag by Hawkins Precision. Now, you could go with a hinged floor plate. That's gonna obviously save you some weight there. And then we have a McMillan A3 stock with edge fill. That's a lighter stock, but I mean, you could get this stock without a cheek piece um, and you and, and the hardware here and you'd save some weight also. Now I got monkey arms. I, when I'm bow hunting I have a 30 inch, just over a 30 inch draw and to be really comfortable especially when I'm shooting long range I have these spacers in the end. So that's going to add some weight too. So when I put this custom rifle together um, I built it, I did some things that cost some additional money as far as you know shaving weight but I also did some things that I don't like to sacrifice. And there's, I mean, there's, I'll pack an extra half a pound a pound just to be able to be a little bit more steady, a little bit more comfortable. So anyway, um, this gun is shooting the Hornady 147 match bullet. So just the factory ammo at 2,982 feet per second, which is pretty smoking for some factory ammo and, ammo, and it's shooting bullet holes. So. I mean, I have no reason to even reload with this. Um, taking a bull elk, 300 yards, a big bull. Uh, you guys have probably seen that video. I also took a whitetail buck this year at 791 yards. I killed a mule deer buck at 1,242 yards. Uh, smoked him dead in his tracks. And then also a doe whitetail at 450 yards. So a lot of guys are considering the 6.5 PRC and the 6.5 Creedmoor. Um, I have both. The next video, you can check out my Creedmoor build and how I set that up. But this is my 6.5 PRC. And I must say, I am very, very pleased with this rifle, this caliber, the setup. Um, obviously, everyone has a little bit of different taste. You can set this up a little bit different, but this is kind of how I did mine. So check out the Creedmoor.